We're Eamon and Beck, and after three years of international van life, a global pandemic, and a brand new van, we found ourselves here, moving north to a run-down cabin in the woods. This is the new workshop. Holy smokes, Eamon! Oh, that's so hot! <laughs> Hello friends! <laughs> Welcome to the cabin! I literally have not stopped smiling since we moved in. The squad Hello, everyone. is all back together. <laughs> New location, same squad. Fresher air. Yeah. <laughs> bigger space. <laughs> Quieter environment. It's a good trifecta. Beautiful. So we've got some quite ambitious projects and we'll fill you in on the vision in a little bit. But because it's pretty chilly out today, I think the first thing we're going to do is start in the kitchen. Because this wall doesn't make any sense. So? I got my demo boots on. Demo! <laughs> Looks like we got a little mouse house here, man. Mom! <laughs> yeah, they got me working at the cottage. Yeah. <laughs> What's your nails in here, buddy? Wow. You guys like what I did to the trailer? You utility. I live in the bush now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Feels good to put in some manual labor, huh? One, two, three. Goodbye wall. Goodbye wall. Bob's got the right idea. He's grabbing a chair. What are you sitting in, Bob? I'm sitting in one of these luxury uh, chairs. I'm afraid I don't know who the manufacturer is. No, Bob, you're sitting in the admiration station. Oh, the admiration station, yes. You want to move the gator? We needed a truck, and you know we like to keep it tiny. <laughs> so we got a tiny truck. I love my tiny truck. Dude, this thing is absolutely amazing. Diesel, complete beast. We got it stuck the other day. I didn't have a camera or a phone and uh, had to get some neighbors to tow us home. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, but it's also gonna be a workhorse. It's got the tilting bed. I don't know how to demonstrate that yet. So project one was to get rid of that wall. Um, Maybe at the end of the video, we will explain kind of our, our overall plan of what we envision for the space. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Like Bob said, there are good bones, which is kind of the main reason we bought it, as well as the view. But the second task of today is to clean up the crawl space. There's a lot of crap down there. We pulled out all the scrap wood and now we're building a shelf for it. We're trying to reuse as much wood as possible. So they had a whole bunch of scrap that was totally disorganized. So we're cleaning that up, organize it. And they'll put some plywood on here. We've got a nice inventory. We finally got Bob outside. Yeah, I got him hard at work here. Supervisor chair. Um, Eamon's gonna continue building shelves under there. Yeah. And I'm on wood collection duty. Yeah. 
you ever want Bob to start working, just call him a supervisor. Now he's up. Can't help himself. <laughs> he's in the shed, clearing it out. My guess is this is where Eamon's gonna be spending a lot of his time at the shed. He's already planning to do a lean to, so a lean off of the shed where the tractor can pull in, or the gator, I should say. Um, so today's third task is cleaning that up. Hey, Beck. Yeah? Come here. Do you notice anything, anything different about the exterior? Well, what I notice is how cleaned up the bottom part looks. That looks amazing. Uh-huh. You don't notice anything? Over here? What? I don't know. What am I looking We painted. For? We painted the, the cinder blocks. Black. Yeah, it like it hides it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good, babe. Good I know. job. Thank you. So they asked me to come up for the weekend. They've been just sitting on their butts all weekend and I've been working. What do you say about that? We fed you at least, right? Oh, you did. That's... <laughs> You're not going to recognize this place. <laughs> Check it out. Looks incredible. There is so much junk in here. We plan on not junking it up, right bud? Oh, it's going to be dialed. Beck wanted to make it into a little tiny house for guests. Yeah, why not? Maybe eventually, that's kind of cool. It's a little bumpy. Run an extension cord out there. As you can imagine, we are going to try and tick off as many outdoor jobs as we can while the weather is still good. And that includes the basement. She smells like a basement. And they treated it like a basement. Woo! So they've got this old kitchenware stuff. I'd like to reuse some of it. Your slide's nice. Garbage. Like, nice whitey is, is keep I'll bring them right around into the wood storage. Okay. Tell everybody, everyone we know. We oh, and three. Nothing good so far. Ooh! Look at that revolver! Ooh, that's nice. What does that do? Buddy, I might cut the cut the cord off and just keep that right there. <laughs> okay. Little pocket rocket. Cause Ew. we got somewhere we're about to go. Big dreams that take us far away. Here we go, we take it off. Here we go, we start. Tell the stars we're coming up. Wow. If you remember when we first came to see this place. The laundry is down here as well, but with no access from the house, I have said it's a must that I get laundry on the main cabin. And I shall comply. <clears throat> because otherwise I'm not doing laundry in three feet of snow. Oh, look at this. You're keeping gorgeous. all this stuff? Oh my gosh. Yeah, You're a hoarder. No, no, look at this one. We have to keep this. Okay, absolutely. We have to give that to Giselle. <laughs> that is just classic. That was a full full day of work. We were actually up by like six this morning. So I'm feeling very grateful that while the place is definitely under construction, the bathrooms are not.
I've been really enjoying these slow mornings here at the cabin, getting a fire going, enjoying a cup of java. And I wanted to say a big thank you to Trade Coffee for sponsoring today's video. With Trade, you can discover new and delicious coffee from top coffee roasters and have it delivered conveniently to you. So here's how it works. You head online to take a quiz to let Trade know how you like your coffee. And then they curate matches that are specific to you. Then you decide how often you'd like your coffee to be delivered. And it comes fresh from the roaster directly to you, even if you live in the sticks, friends. After you've enjoyed your coffee, let Trade know how you liked it so they can continue to surprise and delight you every month. For the last three months, Eamon and I have received a new bag of coffee and we've never been disappointed. If you guys want to check it out, there's a link in the bio for 30% off your first bag, plus you'll get free shipping included. Oh, that's so hot! <laughs> Okay, so now we have a lot of gravel. Grab a shovel. Our first cabin guests besides Bob are Eric, Sophia, and Lena. And you'll remember Eric from all of the electrical videos on our van. He's here to help us electrify the house! I can't believe it's Good morning! <laughs> I can't believe you're you here either. Man? You're a champion, Eric. Thanks for coming out. My pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. What are we doing in here, babe? I'm kind of nervous. Well, it's a shame. They did a beautiful job of this bathroom, and we are going to be sort of demoing it. Um, we really want to have laundry because we have the space for it, but unfortunately, the sink's got to go. Outside polish. Thanks, Sophia. <laughs> Are you going to do one of those? Introduce yourself. Say hi, I'm Sophia. Hi. I'm Sophia. <laughs> Sophia's going to make some money today, right? Yeah. One cent per shovel load. Wow. How many do you do? Do you do 100? Goodbye, beautiful bathroom. But hello, washer dryer. <laughs> open, 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 open. Oh. Perfect time. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Like, wonder what these boys are doing. While the boys are working on demolishing our beautiful bathroom, the ladies and I are working on leveling out the ground, walking towards the basement. Sophia, you're the hardest worker here, girlfriend. Thank you. Look at you. Oh, I'm gonna make it really heavy. And the sunlight like, behind me yes. took off two pounds. I just want to know. Oh my gosh. What do you think? What a difference. Now you don't fall over when you walk down here. This is really good. It's really level. It looks good, eh, Sophia? It's level. Yeah. Walk on the catwalk. Let's go. Come. <laughs> Pose again. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Things have been quite quiet around here. What's going on? Yeah, we had uh, a bit of a situation where we turned off the water and now we can't turn it back on. <laughs> So, I've been watching what? a lot of YouTube on how to. Oh yeah, and? But you just get a bit, lot of videos like this. Uh, and inside we've got all our stuff. Um, Eric, if you're watching this, which I think you are, I appreciate everything and I'm so stoked to call you a friend because it is getting dark, the guy is still working, 
and teaching me all his tricks. Hey, Spada! <laughs> I haven't told them yet, but I fixed the water, right? You fixed the water. It was pretty clutch. So, long story long, on the bottom of the tank, you had to like turn it and then, anyway. You have to manually prime the pump. Is that what I was doing? Yeah, we had to prime it, but you manually, you purge on the pressure switch. Anyway, I'm a hero. <laughs> it's what a phone call will do. <laughs> Put it up to the wall so they can see it. Hey, this thing had right this here. little foam, little protector, and if you didn't have that, you'd like rip your Somebody eye out. Somebody got stitches before they put that there. Oh yeah. Anyway, so we're getting rid of those. Bye, thank you! Well guys, before we get too carried away with all the renos and makeup that we're putting on this baby, we figured we'd show you around. And talk through some of our plans for what we want to do with the space. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Where do you want to start? Well, I think we should start. Just last night, after everybody left, I was upstairs just decompressing, relaxing, and I hear blaring music coming from the basement. where there's on fire. Blaring. It was on the radio. And, um, I didn't choose the song. Although it's a good tune. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I didn't show you that. I haven't even seen the mess you made. Holy well, I didn't have a cleanup crew, so. Wow. All right, well the basement has a new purpose. So let's go show you around. By the way, shout out to Rose. Rose is the daughter of the previous owner. So she's watching the vlog. She's gonna see all the little upgrades we did. Rose, show this to your dad. I'm sure he's gonna appreciate it. Mm. This is the new workshop. Holy smokes, Eamon! Quick cut back to what it was like when we first showed up. Whoa! And so we repurposed a lot of the old uh, kitchen cabinetry they were planning on using upstairs. A lot of it was just moldy and uh, not great for like a, a kitchen, but it's absolutely perfect for a workshop. There's heaps of storage. They've got these great storage units. Wow. So that's awesome. <gasps> Eamon, you did a fantastic job. And best part is you could be working on like fixing up the screens. Yeah. And then you look up. The view is amazing. And you got a view. <laughs> and this room's a little small to do too too much in, but it's gonna be like where we keep all of our things like the water heater, our furnace, that sort of thing. Down here is the little boathouse and docks and beach, but that needs a lot of TLC. Oh. We've realized this is easily going to be our favorite room in the house. Whoa, this whoa, whoa, skipping the deck? Oh, sorry, the plans. The plans are to extend this screened in porch with a deck, so it's gonna come off out to around here. We also wanna have it wrap around to the master bedroom. There'll be a door that I can come out here and enjoy the view. And eventually, I'd like to build another deck, decks on decks on decks. And we need to be careful, there are a lot of rules about waterfront, so we can't encroach too far into the water. But coming along here, into probably the nicest part of the property, this entire area is pretty level. So we need to clear a few trees, and then maybe another cabin here. Because we have no neighbors to the left, there's so much privacy to be had. So eventually we'd also like to build down a set of stairs and our dock right here to enjoy the water. But we need to clean up on aisle 12. Look at this. The screened in porch is going to be for dining and probably where I'm gonna hang out in the summer because mosquitoes love me. I'd love to just get some beautiful lighting in here. Once this is all open, I think the view's gonna be amazing. We got the beer fridge. Beer fridge. Full of soda water. <laughs> So if you want to come help us clean up the area, we got beer. <laughs> Inside we go. This is what we've decided is our bedroom. We actually spent our first few nights living out in the van and then we realized, let's try the cabin and we're really enjoying it. So big enough space. We're not really going to do much to this other than paint and add a ceiling to it. But this is where I hope to have the big sliding door. 
Yeah, so it goes right out to the deck, which will be amazing. And I can't take credit for it, but it was Bob's genius idea to actually move the stove. Something I would have never really thought about doing, but it really is in the wrong spot because when you're enjoying the fire, your back is to the water. So we're gonna move the stove from here to here. And I might need some help doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look really nice. Welcome to the dining room. What? You're skipping the windows? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so this whole wall. We just want glass. We just want as much glass as possible. And um, there are a few like decently new ish windows that we're gonna keep repurpose and put them in the bedrooms where there's like the 70s windows still. Um, but then this is like gonna remain a kitchen area. I was thinking of doing a breakfast nook. I've been talked out of doing a booth style thing because apparently it's uncomfortable when there's lots of people and you're trying to get out. But the flow of the kitchen is kind of going to remain the same with the sink here, stove. You guys already saw but we knocked back the fridge. You want to do like a whole pantry under the stairs. This is such unusable space. So we'll have to pull out pantry. We obviously have to sort out where we're going to keep our recycling and garbage. I was thinking about cutting a hole right in the floor and going into the basement. Fire pull down. Kids will love that. So guest bedroom, probably not much has been changed. Just replace that window. And then the lock. Is this new? Eamon's just spotted all this insulation ripped up. We're thinking maybe there's a little mouse in the house. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you want to come sleep over? <laughs> Having two queens so that there is a third bedroom. It'll be a good size too. And then this is the lounge slash movie cinema fold out beds that run along the entire way here that'll sleep six and then also a projector screen that pops down so Netflix and chill yeah <laughs> We're so excited to be here, to be diving into this project. And before we go today, I just wanted to thank everybody who sent me such kind, loving messages after last week's video. Um, I'm feeling much, much better. Recharged. I've been giving myself, getting there, giving myself time to take baths and relax. And um, it feels really, really good. So We took a week you. off internet, so that definitely helped. And now we are plugged back in. If you guys have any suggestions for the cabin, please let us know in the comments. I would like to eventually, once the rentals are done, invite some of you out to stay with us. That'd be so cool. So if you like that idea, smash the thumbs up. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing you next week. See you Sunday.